Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another video for Lost Ark. And today, since the closed beta is kicking off tomorrow, I want to put together a quick class guide for any of you that are jumping in for the first time to help you decide which class is best for you. If you've already made your mind up, then comment down below. Let me know which class you're going to be picking. If you found this video helpful, then drop me a cheeky like. And of course, if you're hyped for Lost Ark, then make sure you subscribe because we'll have lots more content coming your way. So, to begin with, Lost Ark has five main base classes. The Warrior, Martial Artist, Gunner, Mage, and Assassin. And each of these classes offers their own distinct playstyle, look, and role within a team, as well as their own strengths and weaknesses. And then once you select your base class, those classes then branch into what are known as advanced classes, specializations, if you will. Some classes have more advanced classes than others, and in the future, more will be added. The Korean version of the game has more already, but for Western launch, this video will cover what we will have available to begin with. Starting off with the Warriors. Warriors are the powerhouses of Arkesia. They may not be the most nimble, so instead they stand their ground and make up for mobility with cataclysmic impact. And while not all Warriors are tanks in the conventional sense, they are your beefy frontline offensive options, so if playing the tank is something you resonate with, then you'll probably find your home with the Warriors. Your first advanced class is the Berserker. Basically, it's the dude with the giant, big-ass greatsword. Berserkers are powerful warriors with high damage, greatsword attacks, and potent defense, but when they enter their burst mode, they are all but unstoppable. In this heightened state, they gain increased attack and movement speed, and unlock a special skill that delivers a world of hurt to their enemies. Your next option is the Paladin. For those of you that want a nice little blend of divine justice alongside protection and defense, this might be a good pick. Paladins have a direct line to the powers of the gods, channeling their ancient magic into potent offensive and defensive moves alike. They can use holy skills and buffs with the holy book to support their team from behind, or they can wield a sword and bring punishing skills to bear on the front line. Then finally, for now at least, your third option is the Gun Lancer. This dude is straight at a monster hunter. He quite literally has a Gun Lance. It's not like a Gun Lance, it is a Gun Lance. As the first line of defense, Gun Lancers take the brunt of the enemy's attack with their defensive stance and battlefield shield to help keep their party safe. And while the Gun Lance is of course a formidable weapon, their true value derives from their ability to protect allies and absorb damage like a sponge. So definitely a good pick if you really want to lean into the tank side of things. Then next up, the second class is the Martial Artist. This is definitely more so a pick for those of you that often play the Monk or even Rogue type classes. These quick-footed fighters like to rush the enemy with combined attacks at lethal speed that can only be described as breakneck. And while they have fantastic damage output, they are not as durable as the Warriors, so you do need to be a little bit more mindful of your placements. Your first advanced class is the Striker, a new one for the beta as well, one that I am particularly excited to try out. The Striker is a martial arts class that attacks enemies like a strong wind. Since they're equipped with a variety of physical skills with fast movement, they display splendid aerial combos after hitting enemies quickly, and they use powerful elemental skills to turn the tide in battle. So basically, they're experts at juggling, so you'll get used to seeing mobs up in the air as you rack up that damage. Your second offering is the War Dancer. Not merely masters of martial arts, War Dancers augment their lightning quick fighting skills with elemental power. They can store up elemental energy to unleash in devastating attacks and gravity defying maneuvers. So a good blend if you like a bit of punchy punchy as well as some fancy magic. Sort of like a combat mage, definitely not a mage, more like flaming punches. Your third offering is the Scrapper. Armed with a heavy gauntlet, Scrappers draw on two inverse forms of attack energy that feed off of each other to deliver non-stop destruction. With excellent attack, defense, mobility, and lasting power, they're well balanced enough to throw enemies off their guard. So this is basically a good pick if you like the idea of the martial artist, but perhaps you want a little bit more survivability. And then finally, the fourth offering is the Soul Fist. The Soul Fist switches between melee and ranged attacks, which can be used together for explosively powerful combos. They channel a special energy called Adamance, which they can then imbue into abilities or use to sustain themselves for longer through fights. And it's also a good pick if you want to fire a Kamehameha Beam into your enemies. Then moving on to the third class, you have the Gunners. This is your pick if you prefer the range setup in games like this. If you play snipers, rangers, archers, that sort of thing, you might want to consider this class. Wielding high-tech weapons or bows and arrows that never jam, you want to keep an eagle eye on these sharpshooters as they may even hit you with their worst shots. 
The first advanced class is the Gunslinger. With a gun for every occasion and the ability to switch between them quickly, Gunslingers are deadly opponents at any range. Light on their feet, thanks to their cat-like reflexes, Gunslingers are hard to pin down, and they're quick to unload a flurry of shots on any unwary foe. So if you want lots of options, this is a good pick. Second on the list is the Artillerist, your heavy weapons platform. Artillerists believe in firepower and lots of it. Blasting their enemies with some of the biggest guns under the sun. They may not be the most mobile fighters, think of it like a tank version of a gunslinger, but they do make up for their lack of agility with huge mechanical launchers and other hard hitting weapons, heavy armor and incredible destructive force. Thirdly, you have the Deadeye. With their flexible triple wielding playstyle and brash attitude, you might mistakenly think that these guys have a death wish. And they do, but don't worry about it, it's just for their opponents. They can choose the most effective weapon from an arsenal that includes a double handgun, a shotgun and a rifle, meaning you have a nice blend of options for close range, medium range and long range encounters. And then your fourth option is the Sharpshooter, the Legolas of the pack if you will. Sharpshooters are ranged attackers who use mechanical bows with special arrows that have custom effects. Their high survivability and agility keep them in the fight for the long haul, and their stealthy machinations are excellent for exploiting enemy weaknesses. Following on from this, your fourth class is the Mage. This is where you go if the role of the caster is what you know best, whether that be damage or support. These mystical conjurers tap into the ancient magic of Arkesia to cast deadly spells on evil forces, heal the wounded, or support allies. First up, you have the Bard. This is your pick if you really want to support your team. Virtuoses of the Lian Harp, Bards can evoke soothing serenades to heal their team, or unleash a chorus of pain on their unfortunate foes. Their attack power is rather low, but their ability to support allies makes them a harmonious part of any team. They can also buff up your attacks, so in late game dungeons and other activities, they are an incredibly welcome addition to any team. Alternatively, your other option for now is the Summoner. Despite their delicate constitution, summoners are a force to be reckoned with in any fight. They call forth spirits of the elements to fight for them, and each elemental has their own special skills to help the summoner shine in every situation. So if you like having pets or minions in these kinds of games to battle alongside you, then the summoner has your name on it. And then finally, the fifth class is the Assassin. Again, another pick for those of you that like the rogue stealth playstyles. These mysterious melee makers fight demonic with demonic, channeling dark powers in the name of the light in quick, colorful attacks. Your first pick is the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunters prefer to beat demons at their own game. They can shapeshift into powerful demonic forms to unleash chaotic power. When their inner demon is unleashed, Shadow Hunters get to access incredibly destructive power and increased health and movement speed. So basically, it's kind of like DMC Devil Trigger. Meanwhile, your alternate pick is the Deathblade. Deathblade is an assassin class that uses a total of three swords that they wield alongside the power of chaos to swiftly slash their foes. The fast paced combo attacks from the light dual swords and the long sword overpower enemies, leading to death by a thousand cuts. So again, if you like the sound of multiple different weapons to basically mix up your combat, consider trying this out. But as you can now begin to see, there really is a class for every situation and they're all good in their own rights. So pick the one that resonates best with your chosen playstyle and have some fun. Remember to keep it locked for more Lost Ark as we'll be bringing you more guides and content over the course of the beta weekend and of course next year when the game launches. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.